the goal today is to at least get the pool cover put away those little inflatable things that we put underneath the cover blowed up or popped and thrown away because a couple of those have slow leaks and then probably mow the yard I'm hoping to have time I want to pull that camper around front and start dewinterizing it and getting it all ready for the camping season not going to be any special topics today we're not going to talk about running out of oil we're not going to talk about can't find parts today's probably just going to be a dilly dally around the house all day today kind of thing I think it's broke I think it's broke weather today is perfect man we're pushing 90 degrees right now other than the wind but like I always say the wind we're just kind of used to what that wind's gonna do it's gonna do we do need to run down to bomb guards and make our daily stop down there how dare those hose nozzles those hose nozzles did not last even a year how dare them they were the cheap ones the ones that I think cost maybe a dollar probably a dollar. I probably got them from the dollar store. Well, that was relatively painless, but I actually did spend a little bit more than one dollar on a hose nozzle this time. I spent ten dollars. Look at me splurging. Oh. I'm thinking I may have to call down to Omaha, down there to Caterpillar, and tell them that the truck is just going to have to be done. Just go ahead, put caps on the lines, do what you have to. Cause I, it's not done yet, and I, it's time to go trucking. I can't, uh, I can't wait around waiting for air conditioning parts. If the truck wasn't running, that'd be a whole new thing. But the truck runs great, just the air conditioner doesn't work. And I can't wait around for air conditioner parts like I just said. So we're going to mow the yard. And if I haven't heard anything back yet from them, I think I'm going to go ahead and give them a jingle and tell them to go ahead and just cap lines off. And whenever parts come in, they come in. We'll just keep running it without air conditioning. be some left all right the mowers topped off the that little thing um, what do you call them the tillers topped off ready to go I forgot that I have a uh, teenage boy that always comes home and tells me he's bored so he gets to mow the backyard and I'm not doing a garden this year. He is dead set on wanting to do a garden this year. So that's on him. The tiller's ready to go. He can rip that up and uh, do a garden if he wants to. I think we're going to go ahead and jump to the camper, get it hooked up, pulled around front and start tinkering with it.
Now the truck gets to smell like bubble gum. The truck, the camper, the camper gets to smell like bubble gum. Do we have a gas can filled with gas for the mower? The mower has enough gas in it. To do mom's? Yes, to do both of them. Are you sure? Guaranteed. They scared you. Well, I was sitting on the pooper, and I was just thinking to myself, it'd be nice to be pooping, looking out the door here at a nice, beautiful mountain. But then I got right? to thinking about it. Fuel prices will never be down low enough to take the camper to Colorado. Well, they might, eventually. No, they're eventually. never going down. Eventually. It's got enough gas in it to mow, the, mow your mom's for sure. So mow your mom's for sure, and then... Uh, or go from there. Did you see what I'm wearing? That's one of the older shirts, isn't it's it? The old one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a new one. Not yet. So. Yeah, I get it. But okay. All right. Here you go, Mo. I'm gonna continue sitting on the pot. Um, where are we going camping? Probably a Correctionville or something. Oh, I don't want to go. I was thinking Ottawa. Oh, we could go to Ottawa. Ottawa is a beautiful campground, Blue Lake Campground. It's a beautiful campground. Well, as pretty as any campground can get. A campground's a campground. It's basically a town, not at your house. Um, but the problem is, unless you're there Thursday night, it's full. And we're not even to Memorial Day yet, and I promise you it'll be full. But I'll pull it over there tomorrow. Haven't heard anything on the truck yet, so we're going to go camping this weekend. We'll pull it over there tomorrow, and then... Uh, see if there's anything open if there's not we we'll have to just start looking for county campgrounds I don't like camping at state campgrounds Iowa State campgrounds I really don't they're way overpriced for what they have county ones are at that point too when COVID hit everybody all the campgrounds jacked their rates all the way up I think Woodbury County went up gosh the way if I remember I think Woodbury County doubled in their fees after COVID happened Yeah, that was my brat child. Your screen is dirty. Your lens is dirty. We got sidetracked. We're running down to uh, the weld shop down here. Had them working on a project for me. We're going to come down here and see how it looks. If you guys watched the video the other day, I was telling you about how I was having some issues getting another rim for the dually. And uh, so I ran down to the weld shop. That's the old rim that had a crack in it. Then we tried welding it and uh, the weld, it still had a crack. Well, when that happened, I never went back down to the weld shop and talked to Bugs. I went back down there yesterday. And he goes, oh, I've seen you've been running around town with that steel wheel on there. I was wondering what happened there. And I told him that it was uh, still leaking. He goes, well, that's a problem on my part. Bring it back in here, man. I weld that up real good. We'll check her out. And I went in there and took it in. I went down and picked that rim up just now. And he was telling me that uh, as he was cutting into it to, uh, you know, do the whole weld, the melt process, the whole thing, he goes, he found it, he, he goes, I just didn't cut deep enough when I was cutting into it to weld. I found the, the black line running down where the crack was. He goes, I just, it was my fault completely. And uh, he apologized. I tried paying him more, but he wouldn't take any more. Small town shops, you gotta love them. You really do. You don't find stuff like that around the big cities. All right, so that's fixed up. Now we're gonna go finish up the camper. on 
on for dear life over here. Oh. Doing my normal. Whatever. Well, there is a reason they call me Squirrel. Um, we, uh, I, I, I changed my plans again. We are going to Sioux City now because my wife is completely and utterly obsessed with this downtown Abbey thing. Downton. Downton, Downton Abbey. Downton. Downton Abbey. And if you're from, is it England? Mm -hmm. England. That's your show. And. Boy, sunglasses are nice. Yeah, I bet they are. <laughs> Everybody keeps taking my sunglasses out of this car. I think you take them out if you just don't want to admit it. I don't take them out. I know I don't take them out. Okay. So that's what we're doing now. We are going to Sioux City to watch Downtown Abbey. And it's going to be fabulous! Like almost 75 mile an hour, Buttercup. Almost 80. Almost 80 mile an hour. You ain't got a tire, my friend. You ain't got a tire. I'm incredibly hangry, so I'm just kicked back in my chair, relaxing. You you're taking me out. Course. You're taking me out on a date, and you're not feeding me. When I take you out on dates, I feed you. Well, we didn't even leave until almost six o'clock, and the movie starts at seven. Does that justify the 85 miles an hour? I'm not going 85. 95? No. 105? 72. 72. In a 70. And now it's now 65. I'm going down to 68. Oh, okay. Alright. You could have fed me. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Did you guys ever get hangry? I'm hangry. Today? All day. All day. You guys have noticed probably in this video, I've been kind of wishy-washy. It's been, it, literally, anything I've done today, it has taken an act of God to get me up off the couch and go do something. Did you eat anything? No. There you go. You don't have enough calories to burn to go do something. You have to eat. I have told you this. I have a lot of we junk in the food. trunk. We have food. I just went grocery shopping yesterday. The fridge is empty. Honey, honey, there's a bar in the movie theater. There's a bar in the movie theater. What would you like to drink? Substance. I don't know what they have. Give me a second. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and just leave this button button pushed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lemonade. I have our newspaper paper towels. Do you want what kind? Ooh, they have different kinds? Yes. I'm going to take pink. Is it coming out pink? It looks kind of clear. No, it's coming. Okay. There might be a lot of butter in that popcorn. She's going to yell at me if there's too much. Fresh, diverse perspectives. Tickets at amctheaters.com. Packed house. This is our first movie since before COVID. I have a recliner now. There's a recliner in a movie theater and a bar. Hey, do you mind if I take a nap? I don't care. I'm in a recliner. I've got some really bad popcorn here. I might take a nap, okay? Okay. I love you, sweet love dreams. You. <laughs> well, that's pleasant to come out to. When we 
went into the movie it was 90 degrees we come out and it's 60 degrees that's one heck of a cold front moving through so what's the fancy restaurant you're taking me to honey I was I was planning on like Texas Roadhouse or Applebee's. New text message from Paige. But it's, you're taking me to Arby's. It's 9.30 at night. Your bedtime is 9 o'clock. Yeah, I'm, I'm not keeping... I'm going to fail here. Yeah, Charlie. I'm not I keeping know. you out late enough for Texas Roadhouse. I even know. though you had my hopes up. But no, we're, we're going to eat Arby's. All right, let's finish this one up. How was the movie? Good. Good. Should we tell them anything? No. No. Tissues, anything? No? No. Okay. All right. Well, I'm about to get my food. We're going to wrap this video up. I know it didn't start anywhere where I planned it to end, but we're going to make it work somehow and edit. I'm not sure how. <laughs> I will say, I think I want to visit the French for Riviera now along with Britain. No. Someday. You know, we actually have a subscriber in England, Britain, mm -hmm. that said that he would take us to Downton Abbey if we ever went out there. It's not down Abbey. Or the Abbey, or whatever it's called. All right. Thank you. But yeah, it's not a French Riviera. What, whatever it's called. He told me what it was called. So. Do you remember? Windsor, the um, High, high Core. Oh my gosh. You can't even remember what it's called. High, the High Core Castle. Whatever. All right. He oh, said he'd shoot. take us there. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm not thinking. All right. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.